Hello everyone, this is Jason with Geek Sakes, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Cisco Unity IVR Integrated Voice Response. And basically what that is, is when you call into the system, it speaks to you, you speak to it, it does what you tell it to do. Uh, very cool feature that a lot of people don't know about that exists inside of Unity, and therefore a lot of people do not use it. But today I'm going to show you how to set it up. The first thing you need to do, of course, is create a CTI route point inside of Call Manager to point people to the voicemail. And I'm gonna not going to go over the um, CTI route point because I've done several videos thus far, basically showing you how to create the CTI route point, but I'm just showing you now that I have created it. It's going to be the extension 8000 and basically I'm sending it directly to voicemail that's all you need to do from the call manager standpoint to set this up if properly done this is gonna give you the ability to call an extension the system will say who would you like to reach you say a person name like Joe Smith and it's going to attempt to route the call to Joe Smith's extension uh, this will save a lot of time for users having to go onto the internet to find a person if they already know his name so and just imagine how much of a stud how much of a hero you'll be within your organization if you introduce this that a, a a tool that is very valuable to people as far as reaching and contacting someone and it's not going to cost you any additional money if you already have the licenses for it. it's just a feature that a lot of people don't know about and a lot of people are not using but it's very simple to set up so I mean you can become a superstar among your organization if you do this properly okay now we're inside of the unity connection box before we continue with the steps I wanted to do a quick public service announcement to those of you who are actually trying to deploy this in a real life environment inside of your production network uh, you need to go inside of the licenses under unity to make sure you have something beside the voice recognition sessions because if yours has a zero here that means you don't have the capability to do so uh, so you need to contact your Cisco vendor to purchase a license to do IVR um, for those of you who are using my lab you're covered because as you see I'm running the VMware lab myself so the labs have the demo version which gives you access to all the wonderful unity connection features so you can kinda see how it all works uh, once again this is just a public service announcement to those of you who are trying to deploy this inside of your network a production network VMware lab users you're covered because if you're running a demo version it, all the features are enabled that all being said let's continue with the next step uh, creating a partition and calling search space for the IVR service you do that by going to the dial plan partitions add new and I should already have this cache so you can name it whatever you want the partition I'm just naming mine voice 8000 partition and I'm gonna click save you can create a description but it's not necessary we're just gonna move over move on to the calling search space we're gonna create a, a new calling search space voice 8000 CSS for calling search space works fine and just like inside of the call manager you're going to add the partition to the calling search space click on save alright the next step is going to be create a directory handler and you do that by going to the system management directory handlers click on add new we're gonna call this voice 8000 now this is the extension of the CTI route point so my CTI route point was 8000 so that's what I'm gonna put here 8000 and you see this checkbox voice enable we definitely want to do voice enable because this is going to be in IVR once you click save more options are going to pop up we need to actually choose the partition for the voice recognition we need to choose the call and search space and we need to route unique calls automatically hit save okay the next thing we're gonna wanna do is create a call routing rule to make sure all calls get routed appropriately so we're gonna do that by going to call routing forwarded routing rules click on add new and we're just gonna keep with the voice names here status is active of course 
Collins search scope needs to be voice. The directory handler needs to be Unity. We're gonna hit save, and we actually need to create a routing rule condition. Add new forwarding station equals, and this is going to be 8,000. That's gonna be the number of the CTI route point, the pilot for the directory handler. All right, the next thing we need to do is just create a single contact. And you can fluff this if you like or, or put an actual name. It doesn't really matter. We're going to be alias one. First name Joe. Last name Smith. Template is fine. And once you hit save, you're going to have some more fields to pop up. All right, list in the directory is fine transfer enable just give him a, an extension that's fine partition needs to be the voice partition and all this you can leave blank doesn't really matter and hit save okay and as you see you have your one user here okay now the next thing we want to do is actually export this user by going into the bulk administration tool clicking on export system contacts I'm gonna name it I already have it cached uh, now it needs to be a CSV file so if you wanted to name it um, contact update you need to go in and put the dot CSV otherwise your computer will not recognize what type of file it is so I went to export system contacts I just named it and created it with the extension .csv and it tells you right here it needs to be a CSV file but you actually have to put CSV at the end of it click on submit the bulk administration engine will run download and I'm gonna do save file and open so basically what I've done when I created that single user and then exported it I created myself a template so now if you guys have active directory in your organization or any any other type of, of user account management software you can do a export of those names the uh, employee IDs any any unique credentials first last name uh, extensions all that stuff you can do an export on that system and then put it on this template that you've created by just creating a single user and to kind of give you an idea of exactly what I'm talking about so alias I just created another Excel spreadsheet just to kind of show you exactly what I'm talking about so alias would be one two three four five copy go back here first names last names display names it's gonna be first and last in the same field and with these you need to make sure they're identical to the user you created inside of the contacts on unity so we're going to just do copy here paste I didn't do extensions but let's just assume I did extensions totally made up extensions but all this is all just to kind of show you exactly what you could do within Active Directory or some some other user management program and just imagine this was tens of thousands of accounts that we're doing I'm only working with like five or six here
okay essentially what we've just done is taken all of the active directory users and copied and pasted them over into the Cisco unity connection contacts template so we've taken the first name last name the display names just the first and last name the alias which could be the the person's employee number and their extension which would be the transfer extension in this case and you just copied and pasted all into this template and you're pretty much you're preparing it for re-upload to create the contacts so we're gonna go ahead and do that step now so we're just gonna save make sure we saving our work okay so we were at the export point now we're going to the create which will be the upload point we're going to choose create system contacts and now we're going to find that very same file we modified and we chose it and it's this voice.csv so fail object file name so basically if something happens if something goes wrong within this this um, import the creation of the new contacts it will generate a file of all your failed contacts so you can see what happened and you can make changes if need be so and uh, you don't want any fail but in case but in case some does you need to go ahead and put this and we're just gonna choose that and submit okay so we have number of successes five number of failures one and I can already tell you the one that fell uh, when I did the export I already had a user in there so if if you you can't create multiple instances of a single user and and that happens to be Joe Joe was already created but Joe stayed on the new import so in that case the the creation of Joe fail because he already existed in the system so let's hop over to the contacts and see what we have and there we are we have all six users now successfully imported all their extensions are there they're in the proper partition so everything looks lovely as far as the import and and that's as basically exactly what you want let's so, give this a try I have two Cisco 7942 IP phones here and I'm about to place a call to extension 8000 Mike Lewis. Calling Mike Lewis. All right. Well, there it is, guys. It tested successful. So just imagine how useful this would be if you were to implement this into your organization. Instead of users having a internal phone directory or uh, something on the internet where you can look a person up by their first name last name to just so you can get the number and then call the number if you introduce this to your organization they can pick up the phone dial the IVR extension speak the person's name and that call will be transferred to that person's extension how simple and useful is that and I promise you you will get nothing but thank yous and, and possibly a promotion out of it you know just for creating something time saving and cost efficient because like I said if you have the license there is no cost to you uh, I'd like to thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this video was informative to you for geek sakes